today grooming this baby. Her name is Zyla. She is an old English uh, mixed with a poodle, so a sheep a doodle. She is pretty matted. I'm trying to do an A comb all over. I've gotta demat her legs first. I'm gonna finish brushing her out really quick. I just got done with her bath and her blow dry, so I'm gonna finish brushing out her out real quick, and then I will be right back. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the prep work that I'm doing or the dematting, brushing out, whatever you wanna call it. I try to speak up a little bit because these trucks are loud. I'm a firm believer of, hold on. I am a firm believer that your prep work is what will make or break your haircut. So I make sure that I'm thoroughly brushing out the dog before I put a guard comb on it so that I don't get a choppy look. I want it to be completely smooth. She's gonna have a little bit of holes here because I had spot shave for pits, spot shave down here, and then she had some matting here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm dematting her how I go about brushing a dog like this out and uh, dematting when there's a little bit of tangles in the legs. So starting with this front leg, always start at the bottom and work your way up. I'm gonna be doing what's I think called line brushing. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. This so I'm not going too fast. If you're going super fast, you might tend to get a lot of brush burn on your dogs. So I'm using the brush to its full extent. She's not a big fan. And so now that I kind of got the bottom section, I'm just gonna work up a little bit go to the next section until I feel it coming through smoothly. Once I start, or once I stop feeling the resistance in the brush, I know that that area is pretty much brushed out well enough for me to move on up. I'm just trying to be gentle with her. She's got white hair here, so she's got pink skin. And I don't want to irritate her skin. She's a really sweet girl. She just doesn't care for brushing out these tangles, which I wouldn't either, to be honest. See, now I've pretty much gotten through that leg, so now I'm gonna go back with my comb and make sure I've got it all out. If I hit any big tangles, then I'll go through with my uh, dematting tool. If it's a little tangles, the comb will usually get it out. The thing about her hair, since she's half sheep dog, half poodle, a lot of it flew out because she's got that undercoat of a sheep dog. It's not necessarily matting up, it's kind of just the undercoat getting trapped underneath the hair on top that's making it feel tangled, but it just takes extra brushing. Mm -hmm. Front leg all brushed out. When your brush gets all gross, you can see it out <laughs> so your bristles are open again and you can brush. Um, so, kind of same thing here since I took her body down, there's not as much brushing needed here. I'm just kind of working in like a not really line brushing because the hair is not long enough to have to line brush, but I'm just going section by section. And I would start at the bottom and then work my way up. But yes, I'm a firm believer that your prep work is definitely going to make your cut look either a lot better or not so good. When she gets bathed, she gets dried right away, so her hair is blown straight to get all the curl out. Just like any other doodle or poodle or anything. You can see where we've got matting started here. So this leg is pretty matted. I think this is the worst one of the bunch. Before I even start brushing, I'm gonna go with my thinners, kind of uh, get underneath some of these tangles. It is gonna leave a little bit of like thin spots or holes kind of, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I start brushing because if I brush this out without doing this, one, it's gonna take me forever, two, it's gonna be a little bit harder on her. This is just how I was taught to demat, and this is how I do it. Quickly, efficiently, she still gets a longer haircut. Might be a little bit choppy in these spots, but she's not a show dog, okay? I'm trying to keep the pet comfortable, keep the customer happy, keep the dog happy. All right, so I'm starting at the bottom. Same thing, push out the paw before I move up. So I'm kind of watching the window. I've got a customer that's going to be picking up soon. I've got another dog coming in an hour. So we got to get this done. So I got that bottom section almost completely brushed out. Also, my hair looks disgusting. I got rained on. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, so I got this section. I'm going to move up. And here, since this is longer, I'm kind of going to start line brushing. So I'm gonna get this little section and some brush stuff. Here we go. I'm gonna move up. And if you're working this way, this will help prevent a lot of that brush burn. Because you know exactly what you're brushing and you're not just sitting here going up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down the whole entire leg for 30 minutes to get it dematted. I'm working tiny bits. It literally takes me less than 30 seconds to get each one of these sections out. And once it's done, that's it, I move on. So here's where the big mats are, not big mats, but a lot of pin mats. So here you're gonna start seeing a lot more hair coming off. 
um, because I did thin underneath them. So we're gonna have a little bit of thinness there, but that's okay. Dog will be comfortable. You won't even really be able to notice it. Mom gets a longer haircut, so she's happy. And I'm happy because it took me 10 seconds. <laughs> Empty out my brush. And the same thing that I've done in other videos, when you are thinning, you want to get underneath the mat, but you don't want to get the skin, obviously. So you're using your scissors, but making sure, I mean, a lot of people say, do not cut out mats with scissors, and I believe in that, do not cut out mats with scissors. I'm thinning underneath the mats with scissors, but I know what I'm doing. One, two, I'm making sure I'm not getting the skin. I'm in between the skin and the mat. Don't want to pinch the skin up in that thinning shirt, because that will cut the dog also. So we're up here at the very top. This is where she had most of them. And I was going to do longer on the legs, like a modified cut, but I'm not going to set myself up for that. Mom just wanted something short, but a little bit, not, not quite a shave down, but still short. So one, I don't want it to be too long for the customer, and two, if I do a modified and she loves it, that means every time she comes back and says same thing, I have to do a modified on a matted dog. So I'm not going to set myself up for failure. I'm just going to take her down with an ankle all over. But i got to get these mats out first. Alright, so I've been brushing on that quite a bit already. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to feel with my comb and see where I've still got mats. And where I've still got those mats, I'm going to go with my dematter, dematting tool, and get it out with that instead. Because if I keep brushing, I risk brush burning her. The one right here. And with this, you want to be careful underneath because I believe there's blades. Um, so you want to be careful that you're not getting, you know, if you're going over a hawk or something and you get that stuck in there, it might cut up. So definitely be mindful of where you're using this and how you're using it. Right. So see, I can get my comb and I can run it straight, straight to the, straight to the hair. So that's going to give me a really good cut. And if this dog was matted, like big mats, I wouldn't be doing this. But it was really only this back leg that was super bad and one little spot up here and then the chest, which I shaved the chest. So I'm okay with doing this amount of dematting if the owner is putting in the effort. She definitely brushes this dog, just not perfectly. But I mean, it's hard for people who aren't professionals to completely brush out their dog. You gotta understand that. But I get charged for my time. <laughs> One of those days. All right, so we got that leg. We're pretty much done with the legs and the body. Go ahead and brush out her tail and her head, and I'll be right back. All right, got it all up. Now it's cutting. I already did her pads, partially did her sandies. I'm gonna finish up her sandies real quick. There we go. All right, we got the egg comb. I guess everybody's gonna do egg comb all over. I am using, if anybody's wondering, Using my Andis XL two, uh, five speed clippers, mine are duct taped. They're kind of good over right now. So I'm going with my wide blade um, and my wide guard comb. These are Furzone brand. I love them. They are a little bit pricey, but they're definitely worth it. They cut amazing. But one thing that I have noticed is they're only good for finishing. Don't try to use these to pull through any kind of matting because it will make the blade completely dead. Whenever the blade starts to collect a lot of hair, like after going down maybe half of the body or so, I have to clip off the guard comb and clear out the blade or else it starts dragging. So they're a little bit sensitive, a little bit picky, um, but they do work really well. Here we go. We're gonna go with the egg comb. Oh my God, her hair, guys, I'm so sorry. Her hair, is, she's got that wispy hair and it's just all in my nose and my face. Turn my clippers all the way up so I'm on five speed because the hair is real thick. There you go. Here's the egg. Off the because I did such a good job brushing her and combing her, this is going to fly right through. And we're going to get straight through her body in no time. Great so far. So here's one of those spots where your head is in. You can kind of see a little bit of holes. That's gonna happen, but I'd rather have that than sit here for 30 minutes or have brush burn the dog or have to shave the dog. So. 
That's okay. It's okay to not be perfect, guys. Remember. I'm a pet groomer. I do pet grooming. I am not a show groomer. <laughs> You can take pride in your work and still just be a pet groomer. <laughs> Go reverse here. Because I have to take a five anyway. So I'm going to reverse all the way through all this down. Through the dog, and that was what a minute, <laughs> two minutes, maybe. <sighs> it's gonna fight me a little bit on these. I can feel it. Sorry, I can't exactly see what I'm doing, but I gotta get through this. You know, I do a lot of big dogs. As you can see, I'm not a very big girl. Um, I feel like I've been working this most of the time because I'm over here putting my body in all these weird sort of things to get. The angle that I want. So if y'all see me doing something like this, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to get in some of these places because I'm so small. And this dog is literally bigger than me. But I'm a big dog person. I love big dogs. The bottom of this back foot and the inside. <sighs> this dog. This dog. This is Lila. Picking this leg up to get the inside. Trying not to lift the leg up too high because I don't want her to pull something or be uncomfortable. She's yanking around a lot. And with dogs like this, I'm going to go with my guard to get what I can, and the rest of it, I'm probably just going to have to end up scissoring. It is what it is. Just keep moving. I'm trying to be careful with the bottom. I don't want to pull the scarf from through mat because it's going to fuck up my blade. But she has mats in her toes that I'm going to have to get out. So I'm kind of trying to skin at the bottom. Okay, then. Do the other side real quick. I'm not really sure what the heck I'm going to do with her head. Pictures my mom showed me are kind of confusing. She came in with pigtails. Mom wants a pigtail, but then she showed me pictures where her head is skewed and her body's short, and she's like, I don't like how uneven it looks. So I think I'm going to take her head down. Just to leave some length at the top. And do either pigtails or a pigtail. And then just make sure that it's blended into the top of the head well because. I don't like them to have a throw like this and then it's a bit short. So. Be trimmed up real quick. You see real quick, but we all know it's not going to be quick. So, as y'all can see, I always pull the foot up first. Trim it around from the back. Kind of like the outline. Trim some of the extra off. And then put it down, flip it, and let it fall forward. And you see where exactly I need to trim it from there. I'm just trying to round up this foot. She won't really let me pick it up, which is how I prefer to do it. So, I'm working around her. How are you? You're really gonna hear a dog in the background now. Like I said, I get the foot and come from the back, come everything down, and then I trim everything off the top of the paw pad, the side of the paw pad, and then 
hollowed at all. So there's nothing extra hanging underneath the foot. And I kind of take some of the extra off. And then I put the foot down. Fit it from there. Let's see what else I gotta do. So kind of went on the edge. Now I'm gonna pick it up. Put it on the edge again and kind of start. Uh -oh. See what I mean? The butt. Start getting this little shelf off. In remembrance of Chelsea, not remembrance, she's not dead. <laughs> um, in honor of Chelsea, I don't know how it be. I'm gonna use a seven skip. Because I ain't got time to scissor all this. She calls it a seven regular. Because it doesn't say seven F which is finishing, but I think it's technically called a seventh skip. I could be wrong, but that's just what I think. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do this side real quick, and then we'll go over to this side. I'm just cleaning up some of this. So here, I'm gonna come and blend this in a little bit because I had the spot shave, so maybe it doesn't look so crazy. And then here, using this to take some of this stuff off so that we don't have to scissor at all. I will say I do like this technique. It takes a lot of confidence. You're going too slow and too lightly. You gotta go in to see the difference. And to actually save some time on scissoring. I think Chelsea would be proud. <laughs> I can barely see, sorry. See there, like see where I had to round that out so it doesn't look so crazy. Okay, Holly, thank you. That's enough. Thank you. Here's this blade. This sounds crazy, but that was more than I wanted to pick up. More than I wanted to pick up there. <laughs> see, I'm still learning what this thing getting a little too happy with it and taking too much off. I didn't do that. <laughs> I'm not sure who did that or what they were going for. If mom likes that, but it's there, so. Nothing we can do about that now. Um, y'all can't see. How's that? That's right, okay. We're gonna get this all combed out and I am gonna trim some of this before I put the pony tails in. A lot of crap in our beard. Go with the thinners again. The picture that mom showed me was like a full-on hand scissor doodle head on an old English. It wasn't nothing like this, so I'm not really sure what we're going for here. It don't look like that's what she told the other girl she wanted. Right, so I'm going to let her head fall natural. So I'm going to take my egg home and I'm going to skim it. Because I don't think she really wants like an egg home, but so when I'm skimming a guard comb, I always go a little bit shorter. We're going to end up with that, kind of a mushroom head. Skim some of this down. Down on this side. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what's going on down here. All right, 
in the back. So you want it to be blended. So I'm gonna comb this hair forward and I'm gonna blend it back a little bit. She's also gonna get those ponytails and then I'm gonna this. Back here. That's what we got. We're gonna put our ponytails in. corner of her eye. Oh, don't turn, girly. So I can't see what I'm doing. Her hair back here, is, or up here, is short to go back. So I don't really know if we were going to do pigtails, this needs to all grow out. So I guess let's go ahead and do a visor and do a teddy bear head with two pigtails. What do y'all think? If I take all this off, she's going to no, I don't like that. Let's do a visor and halfway back we'll do a big tail. Let's just see how it looks. So we're gonna go the same we did on this side. Put it back here. So we're gonna come back here. Pull all this hair in the back. We got the same. I don't want to pull that ear in there, so make sure you don't get the ear flap when you're doing this. If you're recreating this look at home, <laughs> I don't even know what the heck this is, but. Have your hair, please. Thank you. She really is a sweet girl. Ah, oh, look at that girl. Okay, now we're going to do whatever is left. <laughs> Her eyes are already shaved. I'm going with thinners. Maybe make that a little bit softer. I don't really know. The whole bridge is shaved. I don't like that, but I'm gonna go in and turn it down a little bit. I don't like the hair in her mouth. I'm gonna go with the ten. Yep. Use my comb to comb all that up. Hold her mouth shut and take the blade. Take all that cut. Something that I've been doing recently, taking the blade, going back over the nose and on the sides to clean up the nose so that it doesn't have those wet sticking to it. It makes it naturally look cleaner. Go with my shears, my curves. And come this visor. And we're gonna give her a visor instead of doing whatever the heck was going on before. A little girl wearing like a band tee. Oh, those are some long eyelashes. Maybe I shouldn't have put those off. Whoops. Those lashes were long. her hair long, but I think this is excessive. We're taking it off. I guess we're taking the beard all the way down because that's what was done before. Get these hairs out of her lips. this chin. I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm just gonna scissor it. <laughs> That's all I can do. I'm 
I guess that's kind of it, you know. There's not much else I can do to give her the look she wants without maybe gonna take some of these long hairs off of the sides. If it was a groomer or if it was mom. Someone's been doing something. Um, but there she is. I think it actually came out pretty cute. I like her little palms and her long ears. Uh, there's a long hair right there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed me losing my fucking mind. And we'll see you next Friday. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and follow us on other social media Facebook and Instagram at Good Times Grooming. And we will see you next week in another video. Bye.